everybody and welcome back to the brighter side if you have seen my face before thank you so 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 much for joining me for another video and if you have not seen my face before go ahead and subscribe and a like and a comment but especially subscribe so you can see my face again today we are going to get into some of my unpopular opinions i have them on my phone and we're just gonna get into what i like and what i don't well, not really what i like but what i don't like and what i think about some stuff that's going on in our society and how I feel about some of the stuff that's going on. And without further ado, we are gonna get right into this video. So, I don't, I'm not here to hurt anybody's feelings and I'm sorry if I hurt anybody's feelings. My first opinion is, I think Kennedy or Ben broke up, really. I think when King got caught cheating and being with that girl, they had always spoken about seeing other people. I don't think Deer cared too much. We all know that Deer is the proper person and she don't really speak about what's going on in their relationship and stuff like that on the media. But I believe they have been they were seeing people before their relationship ended. We see Deer's already moved on and I'm not saying that's a bad thing. But I don't know how within just what six months of them breaking up, she has she be posted. She may be lying, but she be posted. She got her little bae, a little boo. You was with this person for what eight years? You got engaged. Y'all took engagement photos, and then y'all break up. Ain't no way they wasn't already. Ain't no way they wasn't already broken up. I also don't think none of their videos that they published after being silently broken up felt forced because I feel like they genuinely do have a good relationship and they was able to put their um, differences aside to get a bag and a coin because if it were me you best believe I'm finna get me a bag and a coin all these people call us we got so many fans this is now the third I'm finna press the court get on this camera and we finna make us a book babe simple now I want all the smoke behind this opinion, Kaya. Yes, at Kaya Lester, I want all the smoke behind it. Strawberries don't consistently bust how everybody say they bust. Strawberries are so untrustworthy and they're so inconsistent. You get a real red, supposedly ripe, juicy, big, thick strawberry and it's just watery blandness. Now, don't get me wrong. When a strawberry is good, a strawberry is good. When a strawberry is tasty, a strawberry is tasty. But there are very inconsistent fruits. And I don't recommend them if you are in a bind and you're just like, dang, I want some fruits. And all the fruits in the world was here. I would not recommend a strawberry, not even in the top five. Strawberries are not even top five fruits. I'm so sorry to tell y'all that. When females go out in public, they be so worried about what the next person is gonna think about them and what the next person will think about what they're wearing. Niggas, they gonna bad. They be so uptight when they go out at the club or anywhere they go. They be just so like uptight, like let loose a little bit. We supposed to be checking our behind that stoplights this summer. I start hanging out the window with my wretched friends this summer. And I don't see none of that. All I see is females going in a club just all uptight, looking snotty nose at the next female. I'm trying to be in these niggas' faces. Y'all, let's have fun, just the girls. It's supposed to be a girl summer. What is what's going on? But I'm not saying my, me and my bros ain't, ain't been lit. Because me and mine, baby, me and mine, we gonna do it. We gonna do it every time. And then they, I be looking at the next group and they, maybe that's just how they have fun, but they be just uh, smoking that hookah, chilling. Chilling, not a vibing, they just, In my opinion, toxicity can be very fun. I hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Y'all be picking fights with y'all significant others just because y'all be bored. Y'all can't say y'all haven't, both males and females. Y'all have picked a fight or gotten on y'all significant others' nerves just for the fun of it, just to make up. I'm not 
not talking about the bashing your head through the window and stealing your car and crashing it type of toxicity. I'm talking about the, you know, the little smile, little banter going back and forth, arguing with your nigga about it, just not a third. I'm, that's fun. That's fun. I'm sorry. It'd be fun. And y'all know it'd be fun because y'all be doing it too. Being able to be like, y'all we not together today, but y'all be together tomorrow. You know, it's a little... A little chip on my shoulder, you feel me? Now, I'm not saying I'm that person. But I can understand sometimes. I can understand. This generation is so antisocial. Want to be antisocial. Now, don't get me wrong. I know there are a lot of people who are antisocial people and would rather be secluded rather than in people's faces. Or in a mix. That's fine. What gets me aggravated is when I see people who are regularly in the mix regularly on the scene regularly in people's faces hollering they antisocial it's okay to want to have friends and it's okay to have friends and it's okay to be a social butterfly if you gotta tell people that you're antisocial on a consistent basis you're not antisocial people who are always late are very annoying why can't we never be on time somewhere and this don't go for being on time to work or being on time to a party. Being on time to a party is, I would not recommend that. Very much be fashionably late. Please. And being late to work, girl, I'm never on time. So it's not about that neither. But I'm definitely talking about being late to dinners and functions with your friends and brunches and, you know, little small activities. Why are we always late? Especially black people as a whole. Why are we always late? Why can't we never be on time for nothing? Because I be on time for stuff. Or I start getting ready on time. So then now I'm sitting in my house or I'm sitting in your house or in the car waiting an extra 15, 30 minutes for you to get ready when we said we've been planned. Because I'm already knowing I told you that we need to be there by this time. Why are we not on time? Dang. I feel like we started calling people who are bigger or a little bit oversized thick because we didn't want to hurt nobody's feelings and we wouldn't be able to describe them but not say outright that they big. I believe saying that somebody who is thick and they are actually big is sugarcoating the fact that they big because we want to hurt their feelings and we are also uncomfortable with saying how we truly feel. But if you look on my 600 pound life, that person is fat. But then this person over here who is 5'2 and weighs 300 pounds, that's big. For somebody my height to be 300 pounds, that's, that's big. That's not thick. That's big. Lizzo is not thick. She's big. And I feel like we should stop that narrative. Well, my camera most definitely died. Um... But this ain't to knock. If you want to be big and you want to stay big, stay big. That's your business. It don't have nothing to do with me. But I don't feel like we should lie at the same time. Let's tell the truth. Especially in the female community, friendships don't last because females don't know how to be friends. And they make, make excuses as to why they can't be good friends. It's the excuses. I'm too busy. Be with my boyfriend. I got a job, I got a life, I got a this, I got a that, da, 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 da. As a friend, bro, there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to check up on me. Make sure I'm straight. Because I know the type of friend I am, and I know that I check up on you. And without even saying you straight, you need anything, I'm making conversation with you. I'm not just saying you okay. Because, of course, if you're not okay, you're probably going to say that you're okay. Who really says, no, I'm, I'm not okay whenever somebody asks? are you okay not often so if it's something that's deep that i gotta kind of pry out of you you okay is not going to get you there being a real friend is going to get you to let me know what's going on with you so that i can potentially help you because that's what friends are there for we don't know how to build relationships because we want to be so in and out of everybody's lives or you want to pick and choose when to mess with people that's not how friendships work that's how a lot of friendships are working and we need to stop that we need to learn how to be better friends bro there's no reason why you can make all this time for your boyfriend but you can't make no time for your friend and of course 
if you want to be with your man, go with your man because I'm going to go be with my man. But there are times where we're supposed to set aside for each other because you my girl and I'm your girl, right? And then it's the fingers being pointed. Well, you didn't, you didn't call me. The phone go both ways. Like I said earlier, I know what kind of friend I am. So I know that I check up on you and I know that I, you know, do my part. But when I stop, that's when you want to point the fingers. That's when it's, this is not a third about me. When in reality, you've been a bad friend this whole time, but I was giving you the benefit of the doubt. In my opinion, I don't feel like when you get pulled over, it's time to be some liberal politician who knows, unless you do know, you feel me? Unless you really truly know what to say in this situation that you're in, go ahead. And I'm also not saying don't defend yourself, you know, if something goes left. But I've seen so many videos of black people online getting pulled over by the police and like the BLM and the Blue Lives Matter and the Black Lives Matter and the All Lives Matter stuff is going to the head, especially during like the George Floyd times and you know, whenever it was all of that stuff going on, it was a lot of black people that was upset, but they was also not thinking right. They was being real ignorant. You upset at the system, that's cool. You can be upset at the system, but at the same time, you also need to get home to your family. So give this person your license and registration Keep your hand on the steering wheel. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. No attitude is needed when they pull up on you. And especially if they don't got no attitude. Just do what you got to do to keep them nice. You feel me? Y'all be trying to be too liberal and too, you know, combative. Some of them be real combative like the policemen be saying. I don't give them a right to be hitting and shooting and doing all they're doing. But some people do be more combative than they need to be. And then, now, look. We already know that we not safe. It's going to be their word against us for probably for a very, very, very long time. And I'm not saying that it's right and there's a lot more change that we can do. But we are not going to, you're not going to be able to change the system with this one police officer. It's okay to be a hater because I'm definitely a certified hater. One thing about me is if I don't like something, I don't like something. And I'm probably not going to like that. I don't like a lot of stuff. But I'm also going to voice it if I want to voice it. Why, why we got to be so scary with stuff we don't like? It's my opinion and I don't like this. This don't have nothing to do with you. Or if I think he's ugly or if I think she's ugly. I don't think everybody kids be cute. I don't just go tell the, the, to her that the baby is ugly. I might tell my mom or you know, my man or my sister. But I'm not going to go out there yelling at the world that this baby is ugly. But, but what if I don't think this kid is cute? What if I think this person is ugly? What if I don't think that song snapped? It's okay to be a hater. And it's okay to voice your hate. Simple. And last but certainly not least, Florida is the best day to ever do it. Period. We got the best music. <laughs> we got the best style. Yeah. Best scenery. Yeah, we do. We may be a little bit expensive, but that's because all y'all people from up there and over there and wherever y'all live that want to be over here. Best style, best drip. All that. We got all that. If you want to argue about it, we can. If you want to argue about any of these opinions, go right ahead. Let's get ready to rumble. Get off the phone and get in the field. <laughs> because I'm ready when you is. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will be posting weekly on Thursdays. Make sure you subscribe, leave a like, and a comment, and tell me what you guys would want to see more of. Um, also, go ahead and follow my social medias at I am Denari on everything. Bye! See y'all next week!